Hello friends and knife nerds. This is the Finch Knives Runley XL. A thing of beauty. Definitely deserves a closer look. This thing is so well made, engineered, crafted. It's a Finch Knives design and execution, but it is manufactured by Best Tech. And Best Tech really did a great job making this thing. Hammering out the fit and finish here. Uh, with Finch, you know you're going to get a quality knife. I mean, they do not play around. Their standards are really great. That's the reason one of, they're one of my favorite brands. And a brand, I believe, deserves much more attention. Um, so, I love the traditional look, as most of you know. And uh, this has that beautiful traditional look with a nice modern twist on it. Uh, traditional pocket knives... Dot com has a ton of knives if that's an aesthetic you enjoy like myself uh, take a look over there for some really high quality and some cool exclusives <clears throat> excuse me and uh, yeah they really did a great job with this thing let me so we have first we'll start with the the excellent quality product we have here the premium parts the titanium bolsters look nice it is a bolster lock as you can see there we have cross weaved carbon fiber black carbon fiber it has a special name i do not remember it a titanium back spacer here finishes uh, that off just beautifully and a titanium pocket clip 3d milled really nice job and uh, this thing is just so nice in hand it's I believe it is 4.89 ounces, so it's it's chunky. It's heavy, and that's mostly because of this giant chunk of steel. The titanium and the carbon fiber aren't why this thing is a little weighty, but the way they balanced this thing is incredible. I believe this weighs uh, just under 5 ounces, so she's a big knife. Let's take a look here. Yeah, 4.89 ounces, so... She is she you're gonna feel her in, in your pocket, which is nice. You're gonna you're gonna know it's there, but it's not too heavy. But you'll be happy it's in your pocket. It uh the balancing involved in uh the pivot and the uh the push is really incredible. Uh let me go over this. Let me just show you. You notice the jimping going on the on the top all the way through and around. Now that is good because when you push down, straight down, don't have to push in at all, straight down, it flies out this big, beautiful blade. Let me give the, let me let you look at that. That is a big, beautiful Warncliffe made from M390. And we have a, two different finishes here. Along the edge in the first half inch, we have a nice stone wash finish. This thing is razor sharp out of the box. And a nice brush satin finish up top with the Finch emblem and their company name and a nail nick. That is the other form of deployment here on the brushed satin. Jimping up top, nice and sharp, grabs, grabs very nicely. So the ergonomics here in the engineering, it's all, it's all together. It's all very high quality. So with a flipper, usually the tab gets in the way, but this tab was made so that it actually adds to your ergonomics. So when I grab it back or up like this and my finger rests on this, this actually grabs my finger. This nice jimping actually grabs my finger so that it really feels more secure than if it were actually in a finger choil because that finger really isn't going to grab anywhere. It's like kind of grabbing sandpaper. It's not going to move. And it also is very helpful in the overhand cut, your controlled cuts. So I'm going to grab with my uh, my middle finger here and be able to press up and be able to press down, excuse me, when, uh, when I'm making these controlled cuts. And that really adds some steadiness and a little more control to when you're using this knife. It's just uh, been very impressive to see what engineers are coming up with to mitigate the problem of the flipper. And I think this is the answer. Nice flat angled piece with some jimping. 
really makes a big difference when you're holding this knife. Really adds to the comfort and the security. So anyway, let me get into a few comparisons for you so you can see what some of them look like. Line them up pivot to pivot. This is the Ant Chernobyl by Finch. And we also have the Hellfire Voodoo. So pivot to pivot, you can kind of see the size comparison there. Let's get the tool out seven and one half inches with a three and a quarter inch blade. So these are, the Hellfire is slightly smaller and uh, the Ant Chernobyl is just, uh, just a hair smaller. If we put, uh, put the sterns together there. So you can see that, but let me make one more comparison here for a little more, uh, put a couple more, slightly more popular knives on here. Some you guys would probably like to carry. I love to carry as well. The Hogue Decca and the Kershaw Bel Air. Pivot lineup. Yeah, those are, uh, those are all just about the same size, about seven and a half inches. Maybe a little, maybe a hair quarter to an eighth less on the Kershaw, but the Hogue uh, is, is the same size. So the, it's a pretty typical EDC, EDC size. It's a definitely a little more weighty. You probably have another ounce, maybe an ounce and a half in some cases. And uh, so it's a little heavier in your pocket, but that's because of this big chunky piece of M390. It is nice and thick at the top. I believe it's uh, one eighth of an inch. I don't know that exactly. It might be one, two, two or something along those lines. I'm not exactly sure how many hundredths, but uh, I don't have my caliper with me. But it, the point is it gets nice and thick when they start to give this beautiful flat grind started it and it edges it ends up at just a razor razor sharp edge here just razor sharp and uh they did really an amazing job i am a big fan of the finch runtley xl if you're interested check out traditional pocket knives i know they have some in stock they have three different version the three different versions available but uh have a great day friends and knife nerds